hello 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 queens i'm back again and today i'm going to be showing y'all this beautiful look that i created and first we're going to be getting into the hair this is the jaleesa wig and it came boxed up perfectly with all these items inside i received a wig cap some care instructions a hanger and some eyelashes as well and the unit itself came in its own packaging this is a 36 inch boho curl box braided wig and as you can see it comes with its own baby hairs and it's full lace y'all so you do not have to sit in a chair for hours okay you can put this on your head and it's going to get very much scalp as y'all can see so for all of my tender headed queens this is the wig for you for all of my queens that don't want to sit in a chair for too long this is the wig for you okay and as you can see this wig is also tangle free i'm shaking it and shaking it and when i tell y'all there were no knots and no kinks everything flowed the way it's supposed to flow we're gonna step into the installation process and I was so excited to put this unit on y'all. I was just all smiles. I went ahead and cut the lace off camera. Y'all already know how I do. And now I'm just gonna go in and make room for my ears. I'm going in with my adhesive spray and I'm spraying it right in between the baby hairs. I'm using the end of my makeup brush and I'm just making sure that that spray really penetrates through that lace. And once I feel like I have it all pressed in, I'm gonna be going in with an elastic band and just tying it around my head. So I let the band sit for five minutes. Now I'm just gonna remove it and we're gonna get into styling these baby hairs. I decided to swoop them down using some mousse. I'm gonna be cutting the baby hairs as I go to get them in the position that I would like them to be in. And although this is a box braided unit, the baby hairs are 100% human, so they're a lot easier to manipulate. I'm taking some more of that adhesive spray and I'm just gonna spray in between the hairs and I'm gonna go another round with the elastic band. I went ahead and moved the band and now I'm just going in with my foundation and I'm pressing this throughout the lace to get it to blend into my skin. After I've applied all the foundation, I'm just gonna play in the hair a little bit. I was trying to figure out what style I wanted to do. Y'all know I love me a good flip over side, but the thing about box braids, they don't always wanna stay to one side. So I just decided to play in the hair a little. I ended up putting the hair up just to get it out of my face and we're stepping into the next part. Makeup. 
Now y'all know that I could not do my hair without doing my makeup. So we're stepping right into this glam session. I'm starting off by doing my eyebrows as I always do. And this isn't really going to be a tutorial. It's going to be more like a get ready with me. So just watch me get glam. Now that my eyebrows are the way that I like them to be, I'm going to go ahead and get into the eyeshadow. So I'm starting off by applying a base. Now we're just going in with the eyeshadow. I didn't really know what look I wanted to do. But for all of you who don't know, purple is my favorite color. So when in doubt, I always go purple. I'm just going to be applying this to my crease. And then I'm going to be going in with some pink tones as well. I'm going in with this very, very light pink shade and I'm just pressing this all over my lids. To blend out the edges, I'm going to be going back and forth with some pink and some purple eyeshadow. I'm going in with this iridescent pressed eyeshadow and I'm tapping this all over my lids. As y'all can see, I just went in with some liner and I lined the edge of my eyes. Now I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm using it to smoke out the liner. Now 
Now it's time to move on to the face. So I'm going in with my foundation and I'm applying it to the areas that I would like to cover up the most and I'm just blending it out with my finger. I'm going in with my concealer and I'm just going to begin to highlight my face. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out with my damp sponge. I'm going to go ahead and set everything in place with some pressed powders. I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm applying it to the edge of my waterline. Now I'm going to take a few of the eyeshadows from my lids and I'm just going to smoke them out on my lower lash line. Moving on to the lips, I'm going in with this brown liner and I'm using this to outline my lips y'all know i love me a good ombre lip so i'm really gonna exaggerate the liner this time i wanted the brown to show up more than anything which is why i just really decided to go in with that pencil and once i have it all applied i'm gonna be going in with this pink lip gloss and i'm gonna focus it in the center The combo was cute, but y'all know that I love my lips to be very shiny, so I'm going in with this lip gloss on top to add some sheen. I went ahead and did my lashes off camera, so this is the finished look for the makeup. I'm going to take this hair down and put it to the side, because y'all know I'm a side part girly, and this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to stand up so y'all can see how long this hair is on me. This is a 36 inch wig, and as y'all can see, it's hanging honey, and this is what the back looks like. If you would like to shop with this brand, all the information that you need will be in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my next one. Bye-bye, queens.